you mean the car prices? You mean whether the car price will increase? Oh, economic challenges. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, well, this is my view. Yeah? Uh, this, this is why we are monitoring the situation. Um, in, in the next uh, few months, we think that uh, there won't be um, some, there, there are already impact yeah, to the industry. I'm not saying there's no impact. There are already impact, but the, this impacts, uh, these impacts are, are now being, uh, I would say, mitigated by the industry, except for some. Uh, I think they, they can't, for example, Volkswagen has increased their prices recently because of the euro, uh, the ringgit and the euro uh, forex. Uh, so they can't, I, I guess, they cannot, they cannot mitigate that increase and they've increased their car prices, you know. But we have not heard of any other OEM uh, that will increase uh, the car prices because of the current economic situation. Uh, uh, Haji. Yeah. That, that's why we are setting up a committee. The whole idea of setting up this committee is we are monitoring the situation, you know, and we anticipate that by mid-year, if the situation persists, meaning if the crude oil continues to reduce and the US dollars continue to appreciate, by mid-year, if we don't do anything, there'll be impact. That's why we set up committee. This committee is not only monitoring, but to provide action plan. So what I'm saying is, what's the point of monitoring, but without providing action plan so that these uh, issues are being uh, mitigated, the, 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 the risks are being mitigated, you know. So we are already taking, uh, I would say, uh, proactive uh, action, you know, in setting up the committee, reviewing uh, the situation, and also providing action plan to, uh, especially uh, from a government standpoint, and also to the industry players, uh, so that issues can be mitigated. Now, one example I can tell you, uh, um, we did this media engagement uh, last month on the Peredua Facilitation Scheme. As some of you were here. The Peredua Facilitation Scheme consists of a few things. Number one, the, especially on the ASEA, because ASEA is the model that has really picked up. Number one is on the tooling, amortization. All the while, vendor, they have to uh, uh, make a loan to develop their tooling. So there is a financial cost to the vendor. So what we have agreed, and we, when we talk with Peredua, Peredua agreed to pay this tooling advance. So meaning getting advance payment from Peredua, the vendor can pay the loan completely, and then they don't have to service this financial, uh, financial fee anymore, this one. Secondly, Peredua also has started to buy advance uh, purchase material. Instead of you material yourself, they buy material for you. You have to give to them your allocation, the quantities that you need, they buy material for you. Meaning here, you don't have to have any outflow, they buy the material for you and they will uh, knock off the material price uh, from the price, the cost of your, the price of your product. So meaning you don't have to uh, uh, have so high, in, uh, did this to help in terms of your working capital. Second, uh, thirdly, Normally we pay two months, right? I mean, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, payment, uh, when we pay, we pay in, in 60 days term, 60 days payment term. Peradua has reduced it to 30 days, and in the scheme that we talked with Peradua, they reduce it further to 15 days, one five. So it means that you don't have to pay material because they are buying material for you, but at the same time, they give you money earlier. So these are some of the ways that we have started to do to mitigate the issues within our vendor community. And more is to come. That's why the committee is very important. And the committee is the one that review and, and, and try to put action so that you know, vendors, uh, the stakeholders basically can be helped during these difficult times. To help them is all about you know, making them stronger from a standpoint of finance so that they can continue to operate to run their operation. And that's why it's about paying the tooling, it's about material purchase, it's about paying paying uh, them earlier. Yeah? So this is what we've done so far. Yes.
Yeah. Yes. Okay, the the cash the cash flow uh, the cash for clunkers. That's me. Can you go to the presentation? The cash for clunkers. Sorry. Ah, okay. Well, uh, based on the study that we have done, the cash for clunkers. If this is uh, approved. Not only approved by government, uh, you need to understand, you know, not only government wants it, but the OEM also wants it, and the recycling ecosystem must be there. If not, like you said, these cars will be in the yard, you know, it will pollute the environment and it's no good. Lah. You know, what's the, main, what's the point of scrapping if you cannot recycle? The whole idea of scrapping is so that you can recycle and, and, and you know, make it more environmental uh, friendly. Now, based on the study that we have done, if cash for clunkers among the schemes lah, that, that we are studying is, a, uh, is viable for both government and the uh, OEM, meaning the industry players, it will increase our TIV by 10%. So by right, the TIV will be 770,000. Why we are putting 750? Because this is already January. This scheme has yet to start. So we need this another time, a bit of time, for us to uh, finish off our engagement with government and with the industry players to see if this scheme is uh, viable, you know, and once implemented, that's why we think that we still have this, the, the balance nine months or so, you know, and still the 10%, that's why it's only 750,000. Okay? So it's clear, right? Eh? No, 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 no. 29 is more about NAP updates. NAP updates, yes. This one is something, if approved, it can just be announced. Uh, I think there will be an announcement, uh, you know, if this is uh, viable. Uh. No, don't use the word approved, like, guys. It's viable because it's about, you know, it's about OEM giving in money. Let's say, for example, uh, it's 5,000 ringgit. So the OEM will have to dump in 2,500 and the government will have to dump in 2,500. So it's 5,000. So in the current situation where the government can give 2,500 per unit or whether the OEM can afford also to give 2,500, something that we are studying in terms of its viability.